Il n'y a déjà que mec qui a été mané. Mais ça tue mon au Cuba. Nigerian police officer ESP Abuja. C'est le boy à demain. Et <laughs> Let Young Melo, I jock out, Eric Wabamanamo, and a man no more. I love one name, I young woman, I jock out, and a man no more. And your man no more. Let Aruo Wabo. Come we see not the man. Not the man who, not the man who. I am going to do a job. Come we rock one. Eri Adio Solobu, I have put you not the whole man. I don't be an a rock one. When the man when the. On one do by one of the any hell a car. I don't, I don't, I don't be an a. Eh wo 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 wo, akwa me mo mo. I am on the low, I just come on, I am a fan of one. Let's arrow, wabo. Il y a un Genus Come 
me true, Lord Jesus, see me true. See me true, Lord Jesus, see me true. Oh, there is a way I must run. There's a victory to be won. In the path, every Pardon me, don't be offended. We know that when she was alive, she identified herself with the Deeper Life Christian, Deeper Christian Life Ministry. Since as a church, the Bible is our guide in all matters of faith and conduct, and having received commandments from the Lord to do all things in honor of his name, we now perform this ceremony according to the principles of the Holy Scriptures. When someone dies, the incident brings sorrow. This is because death creates a vacuum that may not be easily filled. Death is an, inex an experience that is universal. It can happen to anyone at any time. Hence, there is the need to appropriately and adequately prepare for this occurrence if we are to face it with confidence. <clears throat> Excuse me. The scripture, however, reveals that there are differences beyond death. These are shown in the parable of the Lord Jesus Christ in Luke chapter 16. Jesus revealed that when, we, when one lives for the pleasures of this world with this, with this regard to God, one goes to the great beyond to face punishment and torment from God. But when one lives for God, even though one may live in temporary adversity and sorrow, one enters the great beyond full of peace. Blessed are the dead who dies in the Lord. As captured in the book of Revelation, chapter 14, verse 13. Message to the children and grandchildren. On behalf of the ministers and members of the Deeper Life Bible Church, I express condolence on the occasion of the death of your mother and grandmother. I pray God will comfort your hearts to the relatives. On behalf of the ministers and members 
of the Deeper Life Bible Church, I express condolence on the occasion of the death of your sister and auntie. I pray God will comfort your heart through the gospel of his dear son. To the friends, on behalf of the ministers and members of the Deeper Life Bible Church, I express condolence on the occasion of the death of your friend, let Mrs. Ikahia Ikonoma. I pray that God will comfort your heart through the gospel of his dear son. I pray God will comfort every one of us here in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord. Praise the living Jesus. On that way you may respite. Someone said unto, unto him. Lord, we not without thou goest, and know how and know can we know the way. Verse six and the last verse. Jesus said unto him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man comment unto me. No man comment unto the Father but my by me. May the Lord bless his reading. The one grass love of Jesus. In his mercy and his grace In the mansion bright and blessed He prepared for us a place When we all get to heaven What a day of rejoicing that will be Children. 
and the community. She was a farmer and a petty trader, ensuring that her children never went hungry. In her own modest way, she provided for our needs, and her love and care knew no bounds. She holds a special place in our hearts. Mama, one of the most significant moments in Mama's life was when she embraced was in uh, her life was an uh, embrace of Christianity. She wholeheartedly surrendered her belief in Oluku and embraced the path of Christ. Her faith brought her peace and sense of purpose. Mama's evening years were filled with blessing and her life became an, ex an enviable example of her strength and love. Her legacy lives on through her surviving family members and we are forever grateful for the love and guidance she bestowed upon us. Mama, we love you dearly. And to God be the glory for your remarkable journey. Hallelujah. You are here, heal and happy. To the glory of Almighty God. My late sister, Mama Ikahia, Lawrence Okoro was born in 1923. We share the same father. By name, Ushago of Blessed Memory. We were so close. It was my father that brought us together about 45 years ago. He called me and called her and said, Look, this is your sister. Her way of life is like this. That means something that is very clear and transparent that I must not, by any means, leave her alone. So that brought us together as brother and sister. We are all together. She lived a good life, well disposed to the family, always asking after everyone. Nobody he has, he has no issue with anybody who serves her. She's loved by all, gentle and kind. So one day I went to her saying, Sister, I know how you have been living. People talk good of you in this village. But that is not enough. Something is missing in your life. He called me, normally called me Abba. That is my father. He asked me, what is that thing? I say, you are not a Christian yet. No matter how you are morally, if there is no Christ in you, something great is missing. He now ask me, what do you want from me, Baba? I said, I want you to become a Christian. Leave Oluku. He said, whatever you tell me, I will do. She put the question to me and asked me, which job will I do? I said, no. Search your mind. Whichever one that appears to you, choose. So on that note, we left. I left my station, okay? About four months later, I visited home. I went to visit her as user, and I asked her, Ma, I was talk before, what we discussed before, how far? He said he's not a member of the Far Life Church. I said, yes, the Far Life is one of the church I respect in Nigeria. Their ways are unique. I said, keep on going. Later I came again, I said, Mama, do you pay tight? He asked me, what is tight? I said, any money where they give you, carry small. Carry about 10% of it, if you can calculate it, to give to your pastor. Now, I told her, pastor has no farm. Pastor depends on the support of the members of the church. Mama lived a very good and transparent life, honest. My father told her, in spite of what you are passing through in life, this is what I'm saying concerning your life. My father called me. I said, I should stand. I stood with my father. Then I was in secondary school, the Bank Grammar School. My father was prophesying unto her life, telling her what he's going to say later in life. At the end of it all, he said, in this village, People will be wishing that they are like you. Your children will prosper and they will carry you like gold and egg. After all said and done, my father approached him. He said that he bring his two because I was 
of moderate height. I place it to where he asked me to put it. He said, go and get me in zoom. That is chalk. He said, this thing I have said, climb, mark somewhere on the wall. I climb where my hand can reach, I mark it. I mark it. I, I kept waiting for the prophecy. Lo and behold, none of them did not come to pass to the glory of Almighty God. Yes, my sister, without being told, I know where she is. I know where she is in the bosom of our Lord Jesus Christ. Hope me, I know where she is. Because I know how he lived her life. All the troubles she, she passed through in life. And how eventually she accepted Christ to the glory of Almighty God. May, may her soul rest in perfect peace. I still want to thank, on a final note, the children. The children. They are real children sent by God. Three of them play their role perfectly well. I was the one taking Mama to all the hospitals. Mama never lacked anything in life. For the past 20 years, Mama has been living in an affluence, courtesy of the good children God has given her. I want to tell you, Jukes, Lucky, and Nathan that whatever you have done for our Mama, God Almighty, who reward every work, will reward you through your children in Jesus' mighty name. Shall be well with you, poor. All of us here present, I wish to save Johnny back to your respective home in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you very much. I'm using this medium to thank every one of you that have come today to witness this memorable occasion and to see how my mother spent her life before she was departed. Uh, first and foremost, uh, thank you all for the opportunity and your time to have marked out to come here and grace this occasion. Uh, we start like this, that my mother lived a very wonderful life. See, it, took, it takes place for me to remember the life of my mother. Because I know, I know how we suffer together here in this village before God made me what I am today. So, Mama, I said, rest in peace. I love you. So why I'm saying this, it's not every woman who bear the pain my mother passed through. It's not every woman. Upon all, it still stood by herself. I said, I believe in God. That nothing, nothing will make me to put my hand on evil. That is the life of my mother. You see, I don't need to give much account of my mother. If you bring anyone in this village to come and give a little brief about my mother, it's what I'm telling you, it's what she will tell you here. And this woman lived a very wonderful life that no one, no one can say any evil. Is it for my, my father's side? Is it for my, for my mother's side? I don't think anyone will stood here and say any evil about this woman. You see, I'm just trying to beg God, if God can give me that heart, my mother lived. To emulate the life my mother spent on this earth, I know I will make heaven. I will know I will make heaven. My mother lived a very simple life. It took everybody equal. Whatever problem you are facing, when you come to my mother, she will abandon his own problem and give the little he can give to you. It may be advice. It's not really money because during our days with my mother, the woman was passing through her. Is it the hands of marriage? But at the end, God see her through. But all we can say today, I know my mother will rest in peace. I know God will accept her sorrows. Uh, 
I'm using this opportunity once again to thank every one of you that have come today to come and uh, to grace this occasion. That wherever you come from, I say God will protect you. I say God will guide you. Amen. As you arrive here safely, your way going back, God will guide you. I say God will protect you. Uh, once again, I thank the church. So when I came home, I remember the day I came home, my mother told me that he has embraced Christ. I said, that is lovely. I said, which church are you attending now? He said, deeper life. I said, personally, I'm a member of Christ choosing. I don't have to force to tell it into your life. It is what you choose, that is what you believe. He said, he's attending a deeper life. I said, thank God. Because, Upon this race we are raising on this earth today, if at the end you do not embrace Christ, please, I don't know where you are going. So I'm using this opportunity to, enjoy, uh, to, to encourage every one of us that after life, after death, there's life. That where we are going is more bigger than where we are coming from. So we should use this middle to know God and serve God. So that at the end, our soul will be accepted in the kingdom of God. I say, God, thank you, and remain blessed. In Jesus' name. Praise the Lord. He has just sounded the alarm. I want to thank the extended family. And I want to thank the church for leaving every one of you here for leaving your tight schedule to join us for the final activity of our late mother. We enjoyed our fellowship. I listened carefully to the biography and the tribute of the brother and the son. I saw from the son actually the weakness of humanity, the tie, the string that tie mother and child. I don't know how God did it, but it's stronger than one man can do. I remember that when my mother died, I didn't cry, I was already a pastor. But when I saw it was, she was going to the grave, and as a Christian, I won't see her again. Until, until the day of rapture, Pastor shed tears. I know that there is something actually that tied man. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So it is natural. I want to tell the son that actually your mother gave her life to Jesus. She didn't do it trickily. With this in my hand, I handle her idols and we destroy them. He showed me many things. Everything. When I came the second time, he passed. He said, he said, Pastor, no. I'm still hearing some noises. I say, I say Mama, you never give me everything. He say, hey, there is the one. Yes, no I say, and she surrendered everything. I will carry it. And I took her to the church. And we pray for her. And I come and say, Are you sleeping when I say? Do you hear anything again? I say, No. That is called total surrender. And you put your hands together for the Praise the Lord. Thank God for our pastor here. Early in the morning, he will use his motorcycle to go and bring Mama to the church. Once I come to their branch, I say, Where well, Mama? He said, He has gone to bring her. And we did that and did that until the road was. No more motoring. But Mama was still managing. After her eye surgery, she still continued. But when they told me, they said, Mama is gone home. You know, we have prayed one prayer for them. Thank God, God is answering their prayer. Look at me here. 
I've told them that if you serve God truly, you don't need to shoot and urinate where you are before you go. Are you hearing me? That when your time reaches, okay, an angel will come and jingle back for you. And he will take and you home. When your, mom, when your children see your cups, they will almost embrace you again. That is why we say Christians don't sleep. Don't, don't die. Don't die. They sleep. Praise the Lord. The Bible says they that sleep in the Lord. You don't need to cry. Don't want to cry. Fire They are not pushing you. Who is pushing you? No. Thank God for the life of our mother. Well, today, the way of man. I'm talking to you the way of man. Proverbs chapter 14. I'm going to read verse number 12. And I will admonish you there. I will take mama to the graveside. In verse number 12. There is a way. Which seemeth right unto a man. But the end thereof. Are the ways of death. Man is a free moral. Man who have been given ability to choose whatever he decides. The God you will serve, what you will eat, what you will drink, what you will wear, and that power. God does not force anything on man. When he finished creating you, he gave you dominion. He says, subdue the earth. Take control of the animals, of the trees, of the rivers. So man was given that authority. Man has never been cajoled into any decision by God. He said he told us through Moses, and Joshua told the children of Israel, The way of a fool. 
Mama, and now, you, and you say, okay, now, this one, and, and she stood, and she stood for you, and she continued. You are we looking at her, because know. the passport cannot force you. The passport cannot stand for you. The passport cannot defend you. I used to tell them, my responsibility is to teach you the word of God. Your own duty is to stand for that God. Thank God for her. She stood on the last, for the last time. And the fool. Why are you wise? I ask you here. All of you that are seated. Do you believe there is God? Do you believe that this sky, this sun you are seeing, is created by a power? And since you were born, this sun has not failed one day. The moon has not failed in the season. The raining and the dry season did not fail. You don't see sun again. You don't know what human being is. And that is human being. And the Bible says that there is God. And he created the heaven and the earth. And you become a living soul. What makes you to be alive is the breath in you. There is nothing more than that. I don't know why man brag. I don't know why man boast. I don't know why man keep on bragging because of opportunity. Let me tell you you are under this song. It's only one opportunity you have. I don't know why you are bragging. Maybe it's an opportunity of money. If there is another one he gave for children, he doesn't have the money. But they have responsible for children. There are some in place with that. And you see them. They can stay 10 years. They don't know what's called intention. But you, you are surviving by drug. That's why you are Why are you proud? God has only exposed one light to you. Only one light is shown to you. Maybe you are an academic juggernaut. Opportunity to go to school. Do you know that there are some illiterate more intelligent than you who can handle matter in a very technical way that you don't go to school? What am I telling you in a nutshell? You have nothing to brag about. Everything you are, submit them to your creator. Submit them to your God. You are going to see yourself happy in life. You are going to see and because you are carrying another body, everybody here, you don't believe it because you are not believer. Everybody here is carrying a body. There is a body in your life. That is not where you were wrong. God has made it so. You are only doing a cover up. We must acknowledge this God. And that's why in Matthew chapter 11, in verse 21, the Bible says, This is what I want to do. Why in Matthew chapter 11, in verse 28, he said, Come unto me, all ye that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Until you meet this one, there is no rest on that one. There is no peace. No peace. Your job, your satisfaction is in acknowledging God. Have you acknowledged God here? Have you acknowledged God in your life? We are not talking about Mama again. We are finished our own. We will talk to you directly. Have you acknowledged God? If you do that this afternoon, you are well privileged. And so this afternoon, I want all of us to stand up where I'm at and say, God, I acknowledge your existence. I give my life to you. I want to live a peaceful life. I want to live a satisfactory life. I want to live a life of the peace of the Most High. Bow down your hands. Close your eyes. And talk to the Almighty God. I'm going to be so good. In the forest to look for money. After traveling from city to city. 
I was looking for money. But when I saw Jesus, and I met Jesus, and I surrendered to Jesus, I became satisfied. I became joyful. Day and night, I sleep like a baby. Because I know there is an eye watching over me. Say, Lord, I surrender my life. Say, Lord, I surrender my life. Thank you, Lord Jesus. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. We create the sky, a holy the sky without a pillar. Thank you for your wonderful power. All lives are exposed to you here. As many from their heart that have surrendered to you. Father, I pray you have mercy upon them. All those trouble in their hearts. The money is there, the trouble is in the corner. The position is there, the trouble is in the corner. Father, I pray that you have an entrance into their life through the sacrifice of your son, Jesus Christ. And let them receive a new heart and a new spirit in Jesus' name. Amen. I pray that peace will enter this heart. Amen. Whatever is their burden now, you say we should bring it to you. Father, carry their burden and grant them peace. And let them see the joy of the Lord in their life. Amen. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. And amen. Amen. We can be seated. Lord Nale, Lord Nale.
Say for the lady
We will return back to this door. Now, if we close that mama here, in five years' time, if you open up this grave, you are only going to see sand. Maybe the two parts of the skeleton or the head that was not actually rotten. But I to tell you that man is dumb. And I used to tell man, there's nothing to brag about in life. If you don't believe you are from this earth, now you go to your shower. You go and bath. Especially in this dry season, leave your body within 30 minutes. Go back and scratch that body. You are still going to see something coming out. The Bible says, Talk thou art, and unto God shall thou return. So we are dust, occupying a spirit creation in God that came from his breath. That's what we carry about. That's why you see that the last stage of man is the seizure of breath. When the breath ceases, man ceases to exist. So what keeps you alive is the breath. We honor God that our mother today has given us our last breath. Today she is returning to the earth. And so that's what the scripture says. We talk to the children. The Bible says that the prophet of God shall serve in the book of uh, Second Timothy chapter 4. He says, and the dead in Christ, mama died in Christ. There are two types of death. Some die in Christ, some don't die in Christ. He said, the dead in Christ shall rise up first. That means I, as a pastor standing here, he said, if the trumpet sounds this hour, she will be the first to hear. That is the scriptural law. She will come out and join us who are living and still believe in Christ and say, We shall be children. And we go and meet the Lord in the air. So she is here waiting for the trumpet. She is not in the first bed. No, she is walking to die in Christ. The trumpet will wake her up. And that's why I say, let us sleep in Christ shall wake up first. So, the sons, daughter, the grandchildren, tell you that your mother has been opportune at the end of her life to give herself to Christ Jesus. And today, she's resting in the hand of the Lord. And as we believe, now, you don't see anything. Mama is not hurting when it's alive. So you don't need one to do to her feet. If I told you see your mother in the dream, you will be blessing you. Because she is a changed person of hell. Praise the Lord. Let no man have fail him. Because she is a child of God. I, I was opportune to really pastor her for years. And she was my friend. Because we have to we have to be special after seven. She will come. You want to tell me what happened yesterday now? These old women, they keep on feeling pastor very busy. You have to be patient with her. I enjoyed her. They we want to tell you all the stories. All oh, she has passed without the face. And here and encourage her. But today she is here. And she has gone. So we meet her one day, one time in Jesus' name. Yeah. Yes. Father, I thank you that you allow our mother to follow you. To the earth. She's running to the earth now and we know the soul is perpetually rest. And it says it's going to stay with you until you unite us so with this body on the day of the day. And so Father, I pray that all we are going to do today will be sealed in the name of God the Father Amen. and of the Son Amen. and of the Holy Spirit Amen. in Jesus' name. Amen. Okay, take my shot and take the song to him. You tell her when to go. In the strength of your faith, shall not be strength, nor return unto the ground. The heart of you will not take it, for God will not act, and unto God shall not return, just to God. Don't 
Lord shall thou resolve God's to God. Truth. In the sweat of thy face shall thou leave them without return unto the ground. Why does he want to take it? For God thou art, and unto God shall thou return, God to God.
Oh, <laughs> 